Hey guys, it's Core Ross and more Six News. So the next season of Rainbow Six Siege is coming very soon and it's season 3 of year 9 and it's going to bring in a Greek operator to the game. And in this video we'll break down everything that's coming with season 3. And we'll begin with a release date. So most likely my best guess is that this is going to be coming out on September 10th and that means it will go in the test server around about August 27th and it means any teasers for this season could start in the next 2 weeks. And we'll most likely also get an updated roadmap as well which will allow us to see if anything has been delayed. But yeah, let's jump into the details. So we're getting a Greek operator, of course, for season three, and this is our new operator. We're also gonna have a brand new gun as well, which I'm looking forward to. Now, as of yet, I have not played this new operator, and I hope that it'll bring something very different to the game, because right now, we of course had Demis, who's relatively simple, and then we had the recruits, which are you know, a little bit boring, I'm hoping, that we're going to see something different with the Greek operator and fingers crossed that it ends up being fun and cool. I'd also love to see story elements make it into the game but as of yet that hasn't happened. Now let's move on to the major features coming with this. So one of the big ones is the Siege Cup. This could be huge. This is where your team of five can team up and go off and actually do a tournament and get actual rewards. I'm curious what the rewards will be. Will there be new kinds of alpha packs for competitive play or something, or you're just going to get some fancy item at the end of the tournament. Either way, really cool. And this, was, of course, was actually shown off well, pre-COVID, I think it was originally, and it got cancelled, and now it is, of course, back. So I'm looking forward to this hitting, and, you know, hopefully it'll end up really good. And you can see here, I kind of mock up what the menu might look like, where you've got maps you'll play on, you've got your registration, your history, your rewards. Yeah, so Siege Cup could be big. Then we've got another big feature that I like the look of, and that is the badges and career. So of course, this is going to have a new page, which with this mock-up we see here, you'll actually go into a career page that gives you a whole understanding of stuff and badges. But let's reality check this. You've got one box here, which is your player profile, which you already have in game. You've got one box here, which is your reputation, which of course you can already see in game. You've got a ranked box, which you can already see in game. You've got replays, which you can already see in game. And then you've got a stats box here, which you can go and see on the website for your details. Hopefully they can maybe pull out some of the old data that's been lost as well, but I don't know if they'll do that. And then this box here is the only new one. That's the only new one that's actually being added in. That's it. So this is, you know, of all this, this is the new part. These though will be able to be added onto your player card so that these little icons will actually show up. And I love that. Love any kind of customization. So really looking forward to this. I also hope they have a lot of legacy badges. Like I'd love to see some outbreak badges and stuff like that pop into here and just have a lot of depth to it. And I don't know if that's the case. You know, it could just be like headshots and all that stuff. It could just be stats based. And being able to customize your player card is going to be awesome. Then we have our shooting range access during matchmaking. Now, when this was first announced, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool, but not, I'm not usually in matchmaking long enough to do this. However, recently, of course, the matchmaking has gone up in time dramatically. I'm assuming due to less players, but I now have easily enough time to jump into the shooting range. So this feature might actually be good. And yeah, simple, but nice to have. Then we've got the versus AI. So this will be the attackers playlist. Right now, we only have defenders to go up against. Now we can be the defenders with the AI coming against us. Especially will they be masters of running like Thatcher and Thermite and getting through hard defenses? I would love to see what the AI is going to be capable of. And this is also just right now a good way to get away from cheaters. Then we have our player protection. So reputation system, mousetrap implementation. This means if you get hit with mousetrap, you get a bad reputation. The only problem here is the reputation doesn't really do anything because it's been nerfed while they still try to work out the bugs and get it out of beta. So this could be useful, but I'm assuming it's not going to do anything right now. But this will be getting it ready for Season 4, where the Mousetrap players will get pushed into the PC player base, and they'll get PC recoil. So that's kind of getting it ready. And this also could easily end up getting delayed into the next season. I wouldn't be too surprised. Then we've got Balancing. So the Solus Update Part 2, I actually think they did relatively well with Solus Update Part 1. This one, I've really got no idea what they'll do with her next. And I'm assuming some of the changes might be more fundamental to her character that might nullify some of the previous nerfs, but I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what part two actually is. Then we've got the Dockaby update. I assume this is going to be like Demis, where you can just select a character to ring their phone rather than the entire team or something like that, and then give her more calls. But that's a guess at this point. 
Um, yeah, we'll see what happens with Docker Bay. Then we've got the After Action Screen 2.0. This was supposed to come on the previous season, but did not. And it was actually one of my top features for that season. So now it's one of my top features for this season, and I'm looking forward to it. And I like just, you know, showing off the uh, cosmetics of all their team. I think that'll look cool. And yeah, of course, you've got your options for like doing the uh, reputation and whatever. So yeah, I'm hoping this will be good. We did see a little bit more of this as well in the year nine roadmap. And hopefully this ends up being good. Moving on from that, we have our custom 1v1 preset. Yeah, this is going to be good for Jinxie. And I think a lot of people might take advantage of this, especially if we're just doing streams and content. So we'll see what it ends up being. But yeah, 1v1 playlist. Then we've got deployable gadget pre-visualization. So I don't believe this is actually for nitro cells because we already have like the throw arc. I think this is for like Jaeger's ADS and stuff like that, like placeable gadgets to let you know where it's, you know, where exactly it's going to be going down so you can place it perfectly. And yeah, should be as simple as what we've got with the throw trajectory. I'll just show a white outline of where things are going to be going so you can have a better placement overall. And of course you can switch it off if you don't want it. We've also got the drone visualization, which obviously just shows you a drone so you know exactly where it's going to jump to when you use it. And again, this will be amazing for getting out all these different exact locations and jumping up and never missing a jump potentially again. We've also got a new lane in the shooting range and this is going to be cover. Presumably these little dudes are just going to pop their heads out from different locations and you try to shoot them. And yeah, should be quite good. Love to see the shooting range continue to get upgrades. So that is brilliant. Then we've got map train playlist, new drone drill and additional maps. So you can just drive your drone around and learn maps and hopefully learn them faster than normal. Then we've got the Versus AI. So this is actually for the Defenders playlist that we currently have. So there'll be additional options to either play or play against and additional maps. Pretty simple. And yeah, I'm like I say, I'm loving the AI playlist. So hopefully it's going to continue to get upgrades. And that is it. Now, looking at it overall, I think most of this should arrive. But I would not be surprised if the Siege Cup got a little bit of a delay or didn't launch during the start of the season or something like that. I think badges should show up straight away. Hopefully this will show up straight with the new shooting range access while matchmaking. AI hopefully will show up right away. But yeah, who knows? I think this could easily get delayed because the reputation system has been delayed as well. But we will see. And this better not get delayed because it got delayed last time. I want it. I want it. I want it. But that is year nine, season three. Most likely we'll get a little update on the roadmap in potentially one or two weeks. And we should also get teasers in one or two weeks for the new season. And then, of course, the new season should launch in September. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.